and you will finish the job in 60 days. That's the it's a courtesy visit by senators from Edo State, including former Edo State Governor Adam Soshomale and other members of the National Assembly. It's a visit geared towards pushing the machinery of government to speed up work on the Lokoja Binin Highway. Oshomole, the Edo North Senator, came in company of Senator Monde Opebolo, the APC governorship candidate in the Edo polls scheduled for September. We in Edo State for the past two, three governments, we lament year in, year out uh, over the deplorable state of the road from Benin to Okini and uh, to Lokoja. Uh, we notice at a point they will do one kilometer, they will jump three, they will do another kilometer, and the result is that over time, I couldn't even join my brother, Senator, during the last campaign, uh, because the rules were impossible. So contractors seem to have worked well, others seem to have just taken the contract away to bed. And we did make appeal to the previous government, we had a lot of promises, but as the same promises are cheap, but what is what matters is action. It's an excellent uh, move for two people. This, for this, I'm telling you that we will win our election with a clean slate. The Minister of Works, David Umahi, said the federal government had approved work on 60 kilometers of the dualized section of the Benin Lokoja Highway spanning Ekoma, Auchi, and Opela, owing to the poor state of the road with a six month timeline for the completion of work. I went through the project again, um, you know, I think about 12 to 14 of, the, of this month. And when I came back, I couldn't use my legs and my waist for two days. It was terrible. And uh, we were passing through villages. And my worry is, in particular in Okbela, what happens during the rain? Because a stretch of over 12 kilometers is better to go on a boat than to go on a vehicle. So we had to avoid the route we were called to inspect. And we had to now escape through you know, the village. The minister says projects will have specified timelines, stressing that contractors will no longer dictate the terms for the execution of projects. We are very serious about the timing of our projects. We will no longer allow contractors to determine how long they stay on site. We have to demand for timetable and we have to work according to the timetable. While we do everything to push for you know, the money. So I use the opportunity to appeal to our contractors. Do not dictate for us. We are passing through a lot of challenges. It's time to adjust our belt. It's time to make sacrifices. But anybody that insists that he must, we must obey him, that person will be shown the way out. With the timeline for the Benin Lokoja Highway now spelled out by the Works Minister, the hope is that it translates to a positive outcome. Godfrey Eshamogay, Arise News.